troubleshooting tips. I'm here to help you with uh, any questions you might have. I'm hoping this section will cover all of them. But if it doesn't, feel free to reach out to me uh, on social media, email, uh, website, whichever form, and I will get back to you for sure. So um, the first and most common uh, issue that people are having is the yarn is not really staying in. Uh, and there may be a couple of reasons for that. First is, as I've shown you before, the yarn is not flowing through the needle easily because you're either holding on to it, it's caught on something, um, and that way there's just no way for it to move, um, so it's not staying in. Uh, that may be either because you're holding it, or it's too thick, or the yarn may be perfect, the needle may be perfect, but there's a knot in the yarn, which happens because a lot of the yarns when they're sold uh, and they're made, they don't have, sometimes they don't have enough for one skein, so they uh, connect two and there's your knot. Sometimes the knot just forms on its own when you're winding the yarn or, um, you know, making your own skein from multiple um, other little skeins, um, so that can happen. Uh, and that will cause the yarn to not really move through the needle very easily and you will kind of look at it, that's what happened to me the first time. I'm like, it's not caught on anything, it's not too thick, and yet something's preventing it from moving through the needle. So when I look closely I notice there's a knot. So what you want to do is pull out yarn if you are able to do so and cut it off. Uh, with the knot and then just continue punching. Sometimes people use um, incorrect combination of punch needle and then the fiber that they're supposed to use with that specific punch needle. Uh, most of the time when I get people messaging me about you know the yarn not staying in it's because they're using this needle that can be uh, found very easily online. Um, and they're they're trying to use yarn with it, but the yarn is just simply too thick to to move through this needle easily. If you're using a thinner needle, you need a thinner yarn, or you can use embroidery thread as well. So as long as it's moving freely, you're good to go. Another reason why your yarn may not be staying in is, let's say you have the correct yarn, you have the correct needle, and yet it's not working. Fabric. Fabric is the issue. Uh, a lot of people try various fabrics and that's great. I always encourage it. If you find a fabric that works, do it. Work on it. It's totally fine. Um, but if it's not staying in and you have the correct combo of yarn and needle, the fabric is probably your culprit. Another reason that the yarn may not stay staying in is that your fabric is not stretched really, really well. I've seen people using hoops that are not very sturdy um, and so they can't really stretch the fabric and if you're using fabric that's just not stretched really well, it's not easy to punch, the yarn will not stay in evenly, the, the loops will not be even, that's the biggest um, issue if it's not stretched properly, even if it's not squat, it's just, it's going to be all bumpy and not nice and nice. So you want to make sure you, that you use correct fabric, correct yarn, and correct uh, punch needle combo and then you're good to go. What can also happen when you're punching, even your stitches are perfect length and they're next to each other the way they're supposed to be and there's no gaps. Sometimes what happens is you punch, you push another loop out. So you punch from this side and then you're going around an area that's already been punched and you accidentally push out a stitch and so or a loop and so it's going to be kind of hanging out over here on the other side and it's going to be much taller than the rest of that. That's totally fine and happens so what you will do at cleanup which I will show you is just snip it just like you would at the end. And last question probably uh, of the ones that I get is do I need a knot? Do I need a glue? As I said before, no we don't. It really holds together. If it's nice and dense, it holds together so you really don't need to glue the back or do any t kind of tying or knotting or anything like that. Um, the area will hold together, especially for wall hangings. It's not like you're walking on them, so you know, if it looks like it's holding together, basically, it's fine. <laughs> 
if you're worried about it for rug, you still don't need to do it because if you're using the correct yarn, um, it will stay in and all of the stitches will be together and dense and you just don't need to do anything and it's still look fine. Yay! So when it comes to cleanup, when you come to your finished piece, you will have all kinds of, you know, ends coming out on this side and some extra long loops that are going to be on this side perfectly normal what you want to do first is you want to take your uh, punch needle and all the lines that kind of seem out of place all the loops that seem out of place you want to kind of straighten them out and want to make sure that they create the shape that you initially punched on the other side so you always want to check on this side kind of see oh this goes like this this goes like this and on this side it's a little crooked so what you want to do is kind of push the stitches in the way they're supposed to be and then once that's done and you're happy with all the lines that are clean and they look the way they're supposed to then you can worry about your ends and your long loops and there's a simple fix for that you just take um, scissors and simply cut every loop and end to the length of the rest of the loops and it'll kind of get hidden in, in the sea of all the loops that you have in your piece and you continue to doing that for the whole piece until you're happy with it and you're done and you're ready to hang your piece. <laughs>